thì chân nặng bôi thì cao một được con à nếu cao cao có được cao như tuần này bác Okay, so this is just a really quick little video. We're going to talk a little bit about what archaeology is and what do we, why do we do archaeology. So I know a lot of you who are doing these classes might not have done much archaeology. You might not know a lot about what archaeology actually is. Well, at the moment, here we are at Ban On Wat. This is a small village in northeast Thailand. It's an important archaeological site. It's also a village where people live. And here we can see some pottery being stuck together. So this is an important part of archaeology. The point here is that what archaeology is, is the study of human culture, human history, through or via the material remains, the artifacts, the things that people left behind. So it can be things like pottery over here that people are trying to stick together. It can be shell beads and glass beads. It can be metal tools, bronze weapons, it can be bricks, things that buildings are made from, it can be the rubbish that's left behind from food remains, so animal bones, shellfish, all those other sorts of things. So again, the whole point of archaeology is to try to understand the variety of human culture, the variety of the human experience through time and space um, by looking at the material culture the artifacts, the things that people use during life and left behind afterwards. In most cases we talk about prehistoric archaeology or archaeology where there is no written history, but in some other cases we can still do archaeology where there is written history. And in that case archaeology can be used to test, to examine uh, and to sort of question the statements that are made in the historical records from the time. So archaeology again it's all about things, things, but looking at things in the, um, in the service of trying to understand the human cultures, the societies that left them behind. Here at Ban Am Wat, we've got people who were living here over the last 4,000 years or so. Um, pottery, the pottery in this specific pottery here is probably about 1,000 to 1,500 years old. These people did not leave any written records, they didn't leave any histories. We know very little about these people um, apart from the things that we excavate via archaeology. So this is what, here we are trying to develop a story, develop a history for these people based on the things that we can excavate and find out about. So these pottery items, we can look at them and say, is the clay from local sources? So did these people grab this clay from nearby to here and make their own pots or did they import them from somewhere else? Was there a central manufacturing unit which might be part of a large complex chiefdom or state type society or is everybody doing their own thing in their own little village at home? So that's part of, those are the sort of questions we can ask about. The styles, the shapes, the forms, does that represent cultural influence? from other places or as there are local cultures being developed and uh, continued on independently of what's going on outside of the immediate area of interest. So again, that's what archaeology is all about. It's the material culture, the things that people leave behind that we can then examine in order to understand different cultures, why different cultures changed or developed, why people move from one place to another, and to understand the whole diversity of the human experience over time as well as space. That's all for now. Talk to you more when the semester gets underway. Bye.